Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Create with Kate 56. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, it's really been beautiful weather here. I want to thank you all for, for stopping by and all my subscribers. And uh, anybody new, if you'd like to follow along and see what I'm up to, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications every time I post a new video. So today I have a little journal. Now, I have been watching the all the Tim Holtz new releases for the last two months. And the, the makers are amazing, the things they do. And something different that I don't normally do, but I was inspired by Marlies from Marley Designs. She makes the most adorable little books with everything under the sun in them. And I just thought, I think they're so cute. So I did something different because you know I like to have a lot of place to write in my journals. But I did find a place to put some journaling pages in here. And uh, also I have a lot of other things tucked in. So it's about four by seven. And um, I just used uh, Tim Holtz cardstock. Um, Two different ones one on the front one on the back this is part of his layers collection i think it's urban layers that this came from and um i just have a label that i die cut um cut, uh, just a strip of the um, tim holtz paper and these are the tops of little tags that i attached to the paper and put my eyelets in so i could tie it up with a little bit of this jute twine I've got a die cut here, have a little photograph down here. I made a um, frame from uh, book pages and this little sticker, I have no clue where it came from, but it was on my desk and I thought, well, we'll stick that on there. Uh, the spine is actually a spine from a book uh, that I had, so I thought I'd use that. And um, the journal is just from my Dymo label maker. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside and see what we got. On the inside cover, I have a pocket. I've got some different, these are out of a, a, a school workbook. Um, this is from uh, Tim Holtz Ephemera. And it's just a label that I stamped the little pointy finger on. I've got a card here that um, this was out of Tim Holtz Ephemera Pack, and um, have that for a journaling card. I've got some, uh, just some little pieces of ephemera there, and a little stamp on there. Over on this side, I have a uh, flip. This is, again, just a photo I did with a um, music paper and book page. Got a couple little elements down here on the bottom. This little tag swings over, and it opens up. Got a label with a stamp on there. Here I've got a pocket made from uh, some book page or some music page um, cardstock. Have a little tag in here with a tie. Got a butterfly. It's two layers. This top is the vellum, and this is just from an envelope. The inside of an envelope. On the top of the tag, I just ripped a piece of paper and stamped 56 up there and here I have this is from Tim Holtz Ephemera also on a bulb pin with a little black fabric so we'll put that there swing that back around hold it over on this side I just have a belly band um, this is part of the uh, Tim Holtz paper as well some little pieces of this and that and this is a um, the page from that Your Creative Studio September that I just got. And I've done some stamping on the envelope there as well. In the pocket, I have a nice big tag. It's uh, just made with uh, corrugated cardboard. I used some crackle paste on there. Um, I put, I made a tag out of one of my backgrounds that I had made. This is just a ticket, um, little scrap of paper here. I did some decoupage on there as well and sprayed it with Distress Sprays. And then on the back I have this. 
This is from Eva at Bohemian Crafting. This is from one of her collections that she has. So I just put that on the back. I got nice writing space. And the top of this side of the envelope, I just put a die cut across the top there. Now here I have my first little signature. There, I, there's a total of 48 pages front and back in here that you can write on. So I just did a little signature there. Here is our second envelope, and by the way, that's one of these envelopes that I use that I got from Craspire, and I love these. These are amazing envelopes. I also tried out my wax seals maker that I got from Craspire. Um, I used this little burgundy one in here to do this stamp, and I chose a Fleur de Lis stamp to use on this. It has beautiful detail. It's nice, deep engraving in there, so you get a really good um, seal. This is the first seal I ever made. It's a, <laughs> pretty daring to put it already on a project, but um, I did that on here, and you can see how pretty that is. It turned out very well. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this. And Again, these are from Craspire. And uh, let's see here. So we got a little corner tuck over here. Just got a little card over here in there. This is a Tim Holtz embossing folder. I just went down and cut a row off and stuck it over there. Got some stamps on here. The airmail sticker on there. The pocket opens up. I've got some washi tape. And again, that was from this Crest Buyer um, set that I got. And we have a tag in here. Come out. Come out, come out. I got it tucked way down in there so the little flap can flop over there. And it's the same, done the same way as the other one. Got the crackle paste and a decoupage background tag. Some little bit of ephemera. And again, the, from Eva at Bohemian Crafting on the back. So you tuck that down far enough and then this will flop over here and cover that up. On this side, I just did a little um, collage. I've got a uh, negative from a cutout die cut. have a die cut here. Have This is from uh, Tim Holtz uh, Ephemera. And just a photograph here in a black frame and a little piece of washi tape down there. Here is the next signature that I did. And then over here we've got this page. I've got the envelope here. I did the seal on this one. Um, I sealed it shut because I wanted to have a side pocket. And I've got a postcard in here. I've got a little film strip over some Tim Holtz cardstock lady up there, label there, um, got uh, another background here that I made a pocket with. I put some brads on there for decoration. A little girl with transparent wings and in the pocket I have another one of Tim Holtz uh, layers and um, that's just on a piece of cardstock with some washi tape there, washi tape here, stamping and he was colored using um, gel crayon with uh, water. So that's how I did that. And then on the back, there's more washi tape here of a map and a ticket on the top. And turn the page. On this side, I love this page. Um, this is Tim Holtz Paper Dolls and I just arranged them on there I don't know. I thought it looked good. <laughs> this is just a die cut down here that they're standing on. Um, I did go around them with my uh, gel pen to kind of bring them out a little bit more. And then on this side, we've got my library card in my library pocket. And this is from Tim Holtz Ephemera. A little piece of tatty lace here. My library card. I finished it yesterday. And I've got a... Um, just a little piece of cardstock up there that I just glued down on top of that. 
so there it is. That's that little journal and my attempt <laughs> to try Marley's um, little books that she does. They're just amazing. I'll put her link down below so you can take a look and see, um, you know, what she does. It's If you don't know, I'm sure most everybody probably knows, but about her she's just it, it's just amazing the things that she does she does so much layering and so much stamping and it's just it's they're just beautiful works of art that she does so this was my attempt to uh, pay homage to Marlise and I hope you liked it I hope uh, everybody has a great day and we will talk to you next time thanks bye